welcome back to my channel and welcome to the third episode of the series which is about learning how to write scope classification description and instruction to train your agents to work as expected in this video we'll be creating a support agent who works as a customer support agent on the website and then we'll build it over in our other episodes as well now without any further ado let's dive straight into the video and create our agent okay so this is a newly developer org that i have created for this demo now here there are a few setups which we need to do before we even start. First go to Einstein setup and turn on Einstein. Once you turn this toggle on, refresh your page and then you will see Agent Force Agents in the quick find box and here turn on Agent Force, right? Once you toggle both the uh, Agent Force and Einstein, you'll scroll down. You see here agent force default agent if you want a default agent internally in, in your salesforce you will turn it on otherwise you will keep it off now here we will have a list of agents that we have already created right now it's none because we don't have any agent right now let's click on new agent to create one okay right now we are going to create a service agent there are other agent types as well we'll talk about it a bit and then we'll move ahead with our service agent now here in this agent force builder you will see select an agent type. Now it says created from a template or create with Gen AI. If you select created from a template, we have few template already from Salesforce, which is Slack employee help, agent setup, agent force employee agent, agent force service agent, Slack onboarding agent, and Slack customer insights agent. Now today we are going to create agent force service agent, but we will not create it from the template. Let's create it from Gen AI, okay? I want to create a service customer support agent which will help customers getting their account details updating accounts um, getting order details order status maybe solving general questions and escalating to a human agent if needed okay so this is the description we have given to the gen ai to create an agent for us once we give this uh, description so this is the description i'll add in the videos description as well so you can just copy paste and then you can create your agent click on next now and you'll see customize your agent window we have done with this window now we are at customize your agent window now here because we have given instruction to gen ai gen ai has added some of the details that it could which is the name of the agent api of course you can edit it you can uh, change it as well now it says the role of the api now what is the role of the agent the job description of your agent explain its key tasks daily responsibilities and how it interacts with the customer so role is very important role is like a scope this is a job description this is a title for your agent as we have discussed in the previous example but this is not just a title this is also about what your agent can do how your agent can interact with the customer what are the basic responsibilities that your agent should be capable to solve right so this is the role and it says assist customer with account management, order status, general inquiries and escalation of human agents if needed. Okay, so this sounds good. I don't need to change anything here. Now it says company name. You can give any fictional company name. Let's say ABC company. Now it says company description. This basically describes what your company actually do or what it interacts with, what are the items or whatever description you want to add. Uh, let's say ABC company is a retail company of electronics that's it okay now for agent user if you already have any agent force agent user einstein agent user in your org you can use that that user otherwise you can create a new user which will have all the permissions all the uh, required licenses and everything that is needed for being an agent force agent okay so this selected already new user we'll keep it that way and we'll select keep a record for conversation with enhanced event log if you see this 
you have to check it if you want the detailed conversation between customer and the Einstein, okay? Between customer and the agent force agent. Now let's click on next and see what it has. On left hand side, it says add topics. Now here are a few of the topics that agent force agent, the gen AI, uh, which actually is responsible for creating our agent has added already according to the description that we have given. For example, it has added account management assistance, right? Because we said customer should be able to update their account and get their account details. It says added. If you don't want it, just click on added and it will be removed. It will say add again. Okay. Now it has order status tracking, which also you can use. It has product inquiry support because maybe customer wants to understand something about the products. It then has return and refund, which we are not handling. So we'll remove it. It has escalation to human agent, which we will use. So let's keep it added. I will also add this one and let's go to next. Now here it says select data sources. Optional, that means we can still proceed creating our agent without that. We are leaving this because that's altogether a different topic to learn. I don't want to complicate this series. I don't want to complicate this episode. We'll go one by one and learn about it. Let's just click on the create button to create our agent without the data. And here you have it in your agent builder, your support agent is here. These are the four topics that we have added by default from the Gen AI and it's here. On the right hand side, it's the conversational preview. Basically, this is to test our agent before even we activate it. Okay, now let's see and understand it one by one. Okay, we are not rushing anything because this is about simplifying agent force. So let's just simplify it one by one by taking our time. Okay, now there are six options we see here. One is topics, okay? When you click on topics, you come here, which says manage the topic assigned to your agent to make changes, your agent must be deactivated. So here you will see the list of topics that we have. If you want to update any topic, your agent has to be deactivated and not activated, of course, right? Now, if you we'll go in any of the topics, you will see two panels, okay? One is topic configuration, one is topic actions. Let's just focus on topic configuration first because this topic was created by AI. Let's just see how accurate it is or do we want to do any changes in that, right? That is account management assistant. It says the name, the API. Now, these three things which are very, very important to get the accurate result, to get the context from your agent, to train your agent, right? Classification, description, scope and instruction. These are the three key components that you'll need to learn how to do if you want your agent to work as expected. AI cannot work on its own. We have to train AI and it is with these three components. Let's read it one by one. First is classification description, what it does. An agent uses the description to determine when to use the topic in a conversation based on the user's intent. Now, when I say something in the conversation, right, there can be multiple topics. There can be 10, 12 topics, 20 topics, right? How the agent decides in which topic to go. For example, you have added the actions in the topic, but if the topic's classification description is not correct, if your agent is not able to pick a right topic, your topic actions is in vain, right? Your topic action is not going to be picked up with the agent because the classification description is not correct, right? So the classification description helps agent to decide which topic to pick according to the customer's intent in the conversation, right? So for example, if I say, I want to update my account details, it will come to accounts topic because account management topic should be responsible for uh, account related queries. If I say, Tell me about your company's policy. It should go to general FAQs because general FAQs is used for getting the knowledge articles, getting the data from the knowledge article and give it to the customer. So classification description actually handles and tells the agent, helps the agent decide which topics to choose according to the intent. Now the classification here is, this topic is selected when customer needs help updating or managing their account details, such as changing their contact information, or resetting their password okay now I don't want customer to reset their password not in my account object there is any field for the password so I'll just update it a little bit this topic is selected when customer needs help in updating and managing their account details let's say such as shipping address 
because I want the customer to have the power to update their shipping address. What if they move to a new place, right? They want to update their shipping address. Let's keep it that way. Now, second comes the scope. Also, the description is required doesn't mean the description is, has to be a long paragraph so that the agent could understand. The agent can understand in a small sentence, in a short sentence as well. You just have to be specific of what you want from this topic, right? Now comes the scope, which is the scope tells an agent what it's able to do within your topic. Now, classification descriptions tells the agent that this is the topic you need to come in, right? But after agent comes in the topic, scope tells the agent what it is capable to do, how it can use the action, what it is actually here for, right? What its job actually to do, correct? Now, in scope, let's see what it says. Your job is to only assist customers with updating their account details such as email, phone or address and send password reset link. You aren't able to handle order related queries, okay? Now, let's just change it. Assist customers with updating their account, shipping address and getting their account details, okay? So this topic can uh, get customer's account detail and update customer's account shipping address, right? So this actually specifies what the agent's job is and how agent can use the actions, okay? Now, the next important thing is instructions, what it actually tells the agent how to do, how to work, right? Let's read about the instructions. These instructions are of no use. Let me add few of the instructions and then we can move further. Mm, let me remove this one first. Let's say if the customer wants to get their account details, always ask for their account number, account name and phone number. Okay, so here I'm telling my agent whenever a customer comes and say I want to know my account details, the first question you should ask is what's your account name and phone number. Now let's just save it. Okay, we are not doing anything else and let me show you the preview of this one. Let's refresh and say Uh, what was there? What was the instruction? Wants to get okay. I want to get my account details. Now, what it says, could you please provide your account name and phone number? This will help me locate your account details. How the agent is asking that? Because of our instruction. That's how instructions are very, very important for an agent to actually do an action, for an agent to ask for information or choose a topic's action. So I've just provided one instruction which says that if customer wants to get their account details, always ask for their account, num account name and phone number. And that's exactly our agent is doing. When a customer says, I want to get my account details, agent says, could you please provide me your name and phone number? Now in this panel as well, you will see the user prompt is this. It uses the reasoning engine, the brain of agent force. Then it decides the topic. Because the topic is that it can help customer with their account. It comes in this topic. It has one instruction which is selects. Now in action, we are not going because these are the actions that were created with Gen AI. We are going to remove it anyways. But just on the basis of this instruction, customer's response is could you please provide your name and phone number so that's how instruction scope classification description these are the three key components which works together for an agent to come to an output to ask something to the customer or to do some task now let me show you another example okay um let's go to is this the one okay yes so we have said that agent should be able to answer some of the general questions, right? For which Gen AI created this topic, which is product inquiry support. If you go here, but in this topic, again, you will see the classification description, which says this topic is used when a customer asks question about product features, specifications, or availability, right? But this should not be uh, limited to that. Let's say when a customer asks questions about this, 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 company policy, 
return policy cancellation policy or delivery uh, details okay so let's just say this should reply on the company policy return policy as well right because in our faq and company policy we have uh, explain the return policy we have added the cancellation policy so it should be able to uh, tackle those questions as well right we have to train our agent so that there is a very less need to a human interaction correct that's what agent force agent is here for now let's see the scope your job is only to answer question related to product features specification and availability you aren't able to process orders order reservations now this line is perfect that you aren't able to process orders but let's just update this line your job is only to answer question related to product features specifications same that we have added above company policy returns cancellations etc okay now i have updated the scope next the instruction is if the query is about product related use this now let's just say all company policy returns and cancellations use this okay now what is this this is the api name for an action which action is this let me show you so this is the topic now we were working on the topic configuration in the previous topic now i'll show you the topics action this is the standard action you will see in every bot, every agent that you'll create. This is the answer question with knowledge article action, which actually uses this to answer the generic questions, the normal questions that the customer can have about the company policy, returns, cancellation, product, uh, product expiration and all of that. A lot of things you can add in this part. From where the agent is going to get the context, from where the agent is going to get the data, agent needs data to answer some of the questions, right? If the customer says, I want to know about the return policy and because of the classification description, which says that this topic should cover about the return policy, agent will come inside this one, right? But then there is no data with the agent, what the agent is going to search, right? Okay, for example, let me refresh it and I will say, I want to know about the return policy okay we have added the topic uh, here okay the user prompt is this reasoning engine works we have added the topic of course agent has done its work to get into that particular topic agent has the instruction to run the specific action as well right but here on the right side you will see it says i'm unable to access the return policy information you might want to check the company's official website or contact their customer service for detailed information this is like a, a standard default answer from the question from the agent when they are not able to get any answers and of course how will the agent get the answer it doesn't have the company policy it doesn't have any link it doesn't have any of the data to get the context from now how the agent is going to get the data it will get the data from retrieval augmented generation rag you must have heard about rag online or on salesforce pages multiple times but what is rag we are going to learn in the next episode that is it for this episode in this episode we have learned how to write topics classification description scope instruction how to get the actions now in the next episode we learn about how to use rag to get the agent some context of the company's data so that agent can answer some of the questions. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye, take care and keep learning.